feet here, guys. There's food here. Yeah, there's but... eggs and bacon. Alright, cool. Dude, look at my story. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, we, we saw, saw it, it, dude. Dude, oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> dude, no way. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Honestly, like, I hope he gets here in time. I know. There he is. <laughs> How's your eye? It fucking hurts, dude. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Take it off. Take no, off your dude, <laughs> Take off bad. your sunglasses, no. dude. Come on. No, it looks fine. Oh, he looks totally fine. You can't even tell. Oh, it's the other one. See, I I couldn't even tell. What did you do? You have to tell us what you did. <laughs> so, I forgot my contact solution at the house. So I asked Bill and Bill's wife if he had any, and she's like, "Yo, yeah, Chad left some under the." sink in the bathroom you can use that stuff so i didn't even read the label like i just grabbed it and filled up my case and put my contacts in it and then this morning i went to the bathroom and put my contacts in and my eye just started burning like hell like <laughs> Did 10 you just like out of 10 pain like tears pointing my face i'm like digging my contact out of my eye like my eye like won't even open no and way. then I finally, so then I think that it's something wrong with my contact, so I grab the bottle and try to push no my eye out way, dude. with the same shit that it was, oh my and it made it ten times worse, so I'm like, literally, dude, I was about to cry. It was like this contact, this special contact cleaner stuff that was like 3% hydrogen peroxide, you're supposed to use a neutralizing agent with it. It says like in a huge side thing, it's like, do not put directly on eye, like contact poison control. Finally, Bill's wife's like, all right, I'm just gonna take you to the hospital. So I'm sitting in there flushing my eye, and then they come back. We're gonna run a liter of saline, like through a the liter, eyeball, a whole liter. So they lay me down in the bed, and they put this like contact, like suction cup thing, like they drop some shit on my eye to numb it. Put this like suction cup on my eye with a tube, and just start blasting water into my eye. How does that even feel? Dude, awful. It feels like the worst feeling of all time, dude. I'm gonna just lay there for an hour and I couldn't see anything. And this tube's like sticking out of my eye so I can't even close my eyelids all the way. I was having an anxiety attack because I'm just alone. I can't see anything. I can't find a button to call the nurse. My eye is like burning like shit. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that with the thing. Like, a nurse walks in like five minutes later and I told her it's hurting. She's like, yeah, it'll probably hurt a little bit. I'm like, all right, well, how much of the bag? Like, how much of the shit's left in the bag? And she goes, oh, baby. Like, <laughs> she's like, that bitch is full. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Hopefully, we'll see the breeze fill in over the next uh, hour or so. Um, and we can get some racing. I wish I could see. I wish I could see. <laughs> <laughs> I used to still have ice. Yeah, dude, you almost lost your eyeball. You could have come back with an eye patch and like not be able to see for a week. I was hoping the guy would give you an eye patch. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you should have gotten an eye patch. Go get a refund. Four knots. Sick. All right, let's get it done. We'd have to go behind 61 here. Bro, 106. Yeah, as much about down as you can. Yeah, go, 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 go. Full height. Yeah, we are a little lower and slower than that guy. We're about to come into that pressure five seconds. We need to work on our height here. Let's see what we can do. Tack on 52. Tack on 52. Room to tack. Room to tack. Room to tack. 54 tack. Watch out, though. Watch out. Come on, guys. You guys want me to get the pole? Here you go. Topping lift, guys. Come on. Ready here. Just head down. Frack 
gone. Okay, no one else died. We're good. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is even even with the weight conditions. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we're not the second to last one. Yeah. Look, Grace committed it. Stay like. This race is ridiculous. Alright, let's bang the right goal. You should be with speed game. There's nothing to that race. Nothing at all. It's just start, go fast. Start and go fast. Attack on the first shift. And that's what we did. It's at the go fast part. So We went fast for a little bit. And then we went slow for a little bit. I think Mitch probably has the worst job in this win. I do nothing upwind. And then I have the shittiest job down there. <laughs> <laughs> Your job's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow, though. Yeah, yeah tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow you have the best job. You don't have to do all, any of the hard stuff, and you just like tell us what to do. I might even be able to see better. Maybe, maybe there won't be acid in his eye tomorrow. <laughs> I need to pour more acid in my eye today, so I didn't have to witness this <laughs> fucking monstrosity oh. of a race. Oh. <laughs> We looked so good, dude, and then and then we did it. <laughs> At least we can go fast tomorrow. I hope it blows 15 tomorrow. It's gonna blow 15. All right, let's do it, guys. Yeah, I think full speed here, guys. Enough. It's just annoying because I don't know if we're doing something wrong or well, we're obviously not doing sail. something right. We have the wrong sail. Yeah. If we had the right sail and we were still slow, then we could figure out if it's us. Come on, come on, fast. Full speed, full speed. You guys are right. Take it right. Come up more here, Bill. Got a little cold, the wind picked up. And getting the spray gear. 55. We're looking good, we're looking good. Go, 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 full speed here. Go, go, 
Oh, tack, tack, tack. Ridiculous! Like the entire fleet has to be maybe like like three football fields next to each other. Yeah, we're right in it here. Yeah, down. No overlap here. You got no overlap. Open my finger. Come on. Then this happened. So we tagged too close to a starboard tacker and it's kind of hard to tell if we were actually in the wrong or not. So I included a couple of different shots of the situation so you guys can see. After watching the clips a couple times, it's hard to tell if he actually had to avoid us or he was just really mad that we had a perfect lead battle. So, let me know what you think. Obviously, we did our penalty turns. No one has time for a mid-fleet protest. His jib didn't break. He didn't go above to his hall. Yo, he's a jib. Probably yeah, pretty close. Yeah, he would win. Because we have no witness or anything, but we didn't foul him. What's wrong with the house? I don't know. Pull Austin down. Oh, well, we didn't hit anyone. I like I was reaching in, so he could have headed up. Yeah, his jib didn't break. He wasn't. The yeah, he didn't have to protest at all. No, for he sure. Wasn't a foul. But he would always win in the protest. Yeah, of course. So there's no point. I think we tacked too close. I think. So it's really? He definitely had. Yeah. He got his jib did I mean, break, we'll, but he had to avoid. Yeah, but he's he had. To avoid. Yeah, he's, he's reaching in, and you tack beneath him. Yeah, they you can force him up to close hold. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hand, but, uh, it was a little close either way. Like. All right. So the boys left after packing the boat up for like three hours, two hours. Moral of the story is don't get a protest on your last race <laughs> or you're gonna come in after everyone to the hoist, so. Dude, this morning I really couldn't see because that cream had my eye kind of like <laughs> focused and I had got my eggs at the at Key Biscayne like for breakfast and I went to go throw it away and I thought the podium was a trash can <laughs> so I just smashed my plate into it. <laughs> and I was like, wait, this is just a podium. <laughs>